Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video and today we have the Simgo EM6L. This is going to be a quick video and if I am not too lazy as always, I'll insert B-roll footage in here so you can see the unboxing experience etc etc as we go along and maybe some glamour shots of it. This is a hybrid earphone, EM6L. It's a setup of one dynamic driver, four balanced armatures per side. Uh, and it's quite a good interesting earphone, especially for the price. This is under $100. And first impressions out the box was you could certainly see where they cut corners, but they definitely cut the corners in the right areas. For example, in the case, uh, the case was absolutely terrible. And the ear tips that are included are actually pretty decent, the, the ear tips themselves, but you only get one set. So if you don't get along with them, you're going to need to buy something extra. As always, I always re uh, recommend that people go and buy a set of the Asla Senderfit tips, and you'll find a link to that in the top of the description. The best ear tips work on almost every single set of earphones that I have, uh, and they've just became the gold standard. In terms of competition, you have things like the Queen of Audio Gimlet, uh, and a few others in that one sub $100 uh, category, something like the Duna Titan S, Aria example. Um, but these are different, these are definitely different. And the big reason you want to go and buy these is probably going to be the expansive sort of sound stage, hints of warmth, slight V-tuning v uh, on the sound signature and really, really good, impactful bass on it. Not the most textured, but uh, really, really impactful. So let's take a look through the earphone itself. Uh, it comes in a standard, just a 3.5 millimeter gold-plated jack, metal uh, housing on it, and a little strain relief on the bottom there. Uh, the splitter, again, is metal unbranded with a little strain relief on it, and there is a metal cable cinch. Going up to the top end, you get the ear hooks and ear guides, which are not too long, sit perfectly behind the ear. But you have the, the first sort of negative point that I would say for this is it uses the QDC standard. So it's not your standard two pin connector. Uh, for example, if I bring up this Monarch Mark II, it's a standard two pin connector on the QDC, you get this protrusion coming out. Now, I actually like the QDC connector in theory, because it does offer protection to the terminal. So uh, that, that makes it a lot harder for sweat to get in and relieves the contact points of actually having a depression in somewhere like you have a recessed connector, for example. But the problem with this is not a lot of the cable manufacturers actually support QDC connectors. So if you want to get an aftermarket cable, it's a little bit tricky. The good thing is that this cable included on it is absolutely wonderful. It is a dual internal twist. So you can see that there's two strands twisted and then sheathed uh, and it's wrapped in not braided in with another of the same to form the opposite channel after the splitter those two twisted lines split into the individual left and right channels now in terms of powering this it is a hybrid earphone so uh, you might think that it needs a little bit of extra power but i can honestly say that there was no problem driving this at all uh, I was using this straight out the phone, Sony Xperia. Uh, I was using it with different amps and stuff like that, and I didn't detect any noticeable difference. And I even switched over to a balanced cable that I have, and again, no detectable difference. Now, the sound quality of it is, it's not gonna blow your socks off, like in terms of detail resolution. I believe now you can get a Tin Hi-Fi P1 for about 100 to $130. I'll leave a link to that one in the description below. If you're going for a detailed monster, check that one out. But if you're going for something musical, something that's versatile, something that works with a lot of different genres of music, this can be your earphone. It's extremely fun to listen to, I think because it's got an extension into the highs and it's got an extension into the sub bass region. From the sub bass into the, the mid range transition, it's a little bit dipped off at that point. It's not like truly following the, the Harman curve as they, they say, and if I bring up the, that the curve they have the Harman 2019 curve here and they say that it's actually the mids are pushed over but in this range in here um I actually find that it, it sounds like a little bit below that it sounds like a little bit more recessed in that but overall the mids are are, are a very strong area for this earphone because it it displays in a very sort of warmer than neutral toning 
Uh, it's, it's got a little bit of warmth to it and it's got a lot of weight to it as well. So when you hear male vocals come in, specifically male vocals, it's got a lot of gravitas and a lot of uh, power behind it, especially if you're listening to something like, uh, let's say, Concord from Gregory Porter, when his voice starts to ramp up 50,000 feet up in the air uh, or 30,000 feet up in the air. Like, the weight and gravity of his voice sounds absolutely fantastic. But similarly, going into female vocals, it's got good extension, it's got good gravitas. It doesn't sound um, like shrill or be that BA shine on it, especially on female vocals or upper uh, frequency strings, for example. The, the highs as well are well extended, good definition in them. Uh, and I don't think that many people are going to have an issue with the uh, sibilance on this earphone. It falls short of getting to that point where it's going to become a little bit too hot for people. So overall, the tuning and balance of it's really, really good. It's slightly V-shaped. Um, strong bass performance. Like it's, it's a powerful, again, there's something going on in these drivers here. Uh, the way that they've been tuned to make them a very full sound. Not the most articulate crazy textured bass, especially in the mid bass region, but in terms of power and fullness of the sound, it sounds very, very good. Soundstage was absolutely excellent. Uh, I think maybe because of this ventilation on the, the outside, you can see on the face plates. Soundstage, uh, absolutely fantastic. Very wide and a little bit of depth on it, but mainly that width on it and the extension in the treble also helps to create that sense of air and that sense of soundstage in it. The negative points on it, you can probably see here that if I catch the light just right, just in terms of like handling this for like two seconds, it is absolutely loaded with fingerprints uh, and there's not much you're going to be able to do with that. The other thing is the QDC connectors. This feels very similar to like something like a KZ earphone, for example. One final point would be just here on the nozzles. There's no lipped protrusion. So if I grab something here, you can see that there's a lip on the Monarch and this is just smooth. So just be careful maybe if you're sweating or something like that, that this could potentially just slide off when you, you go to remove them. It's not a problem that I always have, but I have had it in the past with similar designs. Other than that, I think it's very, very good value for money, especially when you consider the cable is very, very nice. I think the, the looks are nice and understated, but overall, I think in terms of the sound stage, the width, the presentation, the, the, the warmth and the weight just makes it such a versatile earphone to listen to anything from EDM, rap, hip hop. Uh, classical jazz it all sounds very very good in here so if you like this review and I do recommend these earphones uh, please stick around and I'll see if I have another set of earphones no I don't uh, the next one coming up on the channel is one that I want you to subscribe I want you to like the video etc etc uh, because the next one coming up is the timeless 7 hertz 2 or the 7 hertz timeless 2 and this is an earphone that I really want to go into depth with because it's exceptional. That's all I'm going to say for now, but stick around, subscribe. Two or three days, I'm going to release the, the review for that. I'm just finalizing some of it. So for now, this is the Simgot EM6L. A very nice budget headphone, under $100. And yeah, good one. See you in the next video. Peace.